I still can't believe it, but Cabot is stepping away in just two days after 30 years here at NBC4. We've shared together a, a lot of times, including raising our children. Mm -hmm. Shannon and Garrett, for me, for Cabot was Josh, Meredith, and Cassie. And I know Colleen agrees it was not always easy working nights and being with family. No, but it they, wasn't. But they were the most important things to, on earth to us. And uh, over 30 years, a lot happens in life. I'm so grateful to have been able to occasionally include my family there. And there were happy moments. There were also some sad moments, but they were all priceless. Say six. Yes, please. In 1987, I highlighted the joys of Christmas shopping with the family at Lane Avenue Shopping Mall with my one-year-old daughter, Meredith, and then five-year-old son, Josh, finding creative ways to elude us. Josh. Josh. And to make his presence felt. He did it. Six years after that shopping excursion, our daughter, then seven, went with me for a 5.30 live Heart of Ohio trip to Paramount's Kings Island. Meredith demonstrating just how wrapped around her finger daddy was. Look at her, she's a Miss America. Aww, In May of 1989, we shared with viewers our newest edition. Just four hours after her birth at St. Anne's, Angela Pace was filling in for Mona Scott that day and assisted with an important natal day task. Yeah, we, we, we're down to two names, uh -huh. Cassie and Jackie. And... Uh, we want to let people help us out a little bit. That's shirking our responsibilities, parents, very nicely, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and we're going to give the information on how the viewers can help name little Cassie slash Jackie. 1,600 viewers paid 50 cents each to vote. Cassie got 65% of the vote. Cassie, now pursuing a musical theater career in New York City, is 26. Through the years, the Ray kids have popped up here or there. <laughs> The Bed by the Window music video we shot and produced in 1992 for a special 5.30 live show highlighting the elderly. Josh the Sweeper, now 33 and working in L.A., and Meredith the Football Carrier is now 29 and works here in Columbus. In 1996, when I had the privilege of running the Olympic torch in Grove City, all three children made a cameo. But like all of us, I've said sad goodbyes during my 30 years at NBC4. My only brother, Phil, lost at 31 to cystic fibrosis in 1998. My lifelong closest friend, Mark Tracy, tragically in a motorcycle accident in 2006, two hours after we'd had lunch. His brother-in-law and Chopper 4 pilot Rob Case to cancer a year after that, and both my parents, Jim and Betty, in January 2010. Leaves ablaze and vibrant hues. My mother loved to write poetry, reciting one the day she was told her sudden onset of a blood cancer was terminal. In front of everybody, tell who your favorite child is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was special, Mom. Yeah. And that was the most important series and I so ever And so was did. your brother. I mean, yeah. it's, it's... you And you know what? You went up with Gail, drove an hour and a half north to go to Phil's funeral. And that was one of those moments with you that cemented my friendship with you because that meant a lot to me then. But we'll we'll not get too soupy quite yet. We got two more days, okay? Well, and so. I almost had to be carried out of the church, <laughs> if you'll remember. It was, it was not a good day for us. Yeah, we did not uh, farewell. We appreciated it. Yeah. And